Welcome back to Unscripted as we continue to look back at Hockey Days past in Minnesota. I'm now joined by a former Wild defenseman and Elk River native, Nate Prosser. Nate, it's great to see you again, my friend. Good to see you too, Gargi. I miss you. I miss you too. And what I remember about your days with the Minnesota Wild, from my perspective, is all the time we had to connect after a game or after a practice, we were always talking about high school hockey, whether it was scores, yeah. players to watch, teams that were really good. Why have you always been so connected with high school hockey here? Um, you know, just because it's, 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 it's so important in my life to, you know, reminisce, you know, about my days in Elk River. You know, like growing up in Elk River, it's I mean, so centered around hockey. Um, starting basically as soon as you can walk all the way through high school is if in the summer it's playing street hockey and in the winter it's, um, you know, being a rink rat out at, you know, the Hanky Pit. So um, just, you know, it's, it's fun to follow along and especially when state tournament time comes around. Yeah, there's nothing better. And, you know, I think for a lot of guys like us that played high school hockey here, it's the best time in your life at that age. And let's talk about when you got the news, you're a member of the Minnesota Wild and you find out that Elk River, your hometown, gets to host Hockey Day Minnesota. What were your first thoughts? Um, you know, obviously excitement. I, uh, I know like it's a dream setting, you know, down in this little, and when I heard it was in Hanky Pit, it was down, I mean, down in a bowl, people can be on the, you know, on the hill. Um, I, I knew they were just going to set it up the right way and they did that for sure. And, um, you know, I was excited for the city and, you know, just, you know, waking up that morning and, um, knowing that it's, it's, up, it's down there and I, I, I get to watch, um, watch it on Fox sports and, um, you know, starting with the early games and, you know, all the way through our game was, uh, was a fun day. And I know from talking to you and your teammates over the years that you guys always dive in on game day after morning skate and you'll check in and see what the location looks like. But that day had to be a little extra special for you when you finished up morning skate, knowing you don't play till later that night, to have the chance to see the rink that you grew up on kind of on center stage. What was it like? Did you go back to your youth the whole time? Yeah, yeah, it did. I mean, you def definitely went down memory lane, um, you know, going, you know, meeting up with friends down there basically daily and then just having our parents come pick us up for dinner time. Um, just going down there with a tennis ball and working on, you know, your skill and going, you know, playing for, you know, a fake Stanley Cup and, <laughs> um, you know, playing with my brother and all his buddies and, you know, inviting all my friends down there. A lot of my friends that lived around that area, um, you know, I don't think I napped that day. I, after I got out of the pregame skate, I just went home and watched watched the uh, Fox Sports all day, and um, you know, just kind of relived the moments that I had there. And it was, it was exciting for me to, you know, see it in Elk River and kind of go around the town. And um, you know, I, I wanted to make it up there and like just kind of see the setup, but I, I didn't get the chance to. But you no, know, they did a good job of you know kind of um, showing that on TV, and um, you know, it was, it was a great setup. Well, you would leave your mark on Hockey Day that particular year. Let, let's go back to the wild game itself because you've always been a stay-at-home defenseman, a leader uh, on the bench and in the locker room. Goal scoring has not been a really a big part of your forte at the NHL level. No. But on this particular day, it's overtime, and you score the game winner, and you're the Elk River guy. Yeah. That had to be a remarkably special time for you. Yeah, it was, it was a day I probably won't forget. Um uh, you know, I'll be telling my grandkids about it someday. Um, I, I, I don't get out there in overtime. So, I mean, it just kind of worked out kind of fluky that it, you know, it worked out, um, you know, a tie game, you know, going in overtime, you know, I was ready to take off my chin strap and untie my skates. And then my D coach, Rick Wilson says, Pross, you're up. I, you know, I even look back at him like, I think you made a mistake, but <laughs> he said, no, let's go, let's go, go get it. Um, and I, uh, you know, jumped over the boards and uh, I remember, you know, Coyle coming around the net, passing it out to Niederreiter out in the slot. And, um, you know, I, I knew he was going to get the puck to the net. It's just whether where that rebound was going to kick to. And um, lucky enough, I was able to kind of shoot the right lane and the puck kind of popped out to me. And, um, you know, funny story, a few days later, um, you know, Spurge and, you know, Scandy, I think it was, came up to me and, were telling me about Rick Wilson on the bench. He's screaming, no, no, Pross, no, when I was diving in. Like he said, I'm, I'm not an offensive guy. He was probably more looking at me not to get scored on that shift and, you know, rest suits, so he's ready to go for the for the next time up. And um, he was yelling, no, no, for me to, you know, jump down in the off, in, into the play and um, 
kind of funny that, uh, you know, it worked out and then he, uh, you know, kind of had to eat his words a little bit just that one day. <laughs> well, that was an awesome finish. We'll all never forget it. And, you know, it's funny because just getting to the NHL is so hard and it's so special to spend one day, one game in this league. You've done it for a very long period of time. Looking back at your growing up in Minnesota and playing high school hockey in Elk River, how much did that set the foundation for who you are now as a pro? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a blue-collar city. Um, you know, I, I kind of was, you know, raised to, you know, my dad always told me to, you know, turn into a mean SOB when you're on the ice, and then, you know, I got to be able to flip the switch on and flip the switch off. So when you get off the ice, it's, you know, turn into that nice, nice, human, um, nice brother, nice friend, nice son, nice husband, father, all that. And, you know, call your grandma and tell you that you love her. But then once you get back on the ice, flip that switch back and, um, you know, be ready to go and get a little nasty. You've developed into such a consistent pro and your teammates always rave about the player you are and how hard you work on and off the ice. It's got to be a different time for all of you guys as pro hockey players because the season stops in March and now we don't know there might be hockey this summer there likely will be a season next year what do you guys do right now without ranks available without your teammates available to stay sharp yeah I I think a lot of people are just you know trying to figure that out um you know you're waking up and trying to stay in a routine um it's you know you're working out on your own you're getting your rollerblades on you're getting the bike out um you know you're doing what you can you know going for runs or whatever it is and you know, with me, I, I got four kids. So like I'm going for walks all the time. I'm going rollerblading all the time. I'm biking all the time. I'm jumping on the trampoline. I'm, uh, it, I mean, it's chaos over here. Well, Pross, it was great to look back at Hockey Day 2014. We'll never forget the way you capped it off. And it's always fun to connect with you. One of our all-time favorites with the Minnesota Wild. Yeah, thanks for having me, Gorg. Yeah, Hockey Days are always great to me. I always look forward to them. And, um, you know, even... The next few years later, I, I scored another goal on Hockey Day, and um, I think it was like 2018, and it was a game winner against Tampa. So it's just a day that I always look forward to. I, I wish there was more of them in the year because I always seem to get a point or score a goal, and that's not really my thing, but it's always fun doing it. And um, it's, yeah, loved it. Fun to connect today, my friend. Yeah, good seeing you. It's been fun to take a look back at Hockey Days of the Past. Our thanks go to Casey Middlestad and Lee Smith of Eden Prairie, Chrissy and Johnny Pohl, and former Wild defenseman Nate Prosser. We'll see you next time here on Unscripted.